Um, I don't know what kind of intro I want to do. I, this is it. That's it right there. Ow. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about future build mode features I would like to see added in Blocksburg with the announcement from Blocksburg themselves that they are planning on going free to play. Build mode in Blocksburg is, um, you know, it's pretty decent, but it could be better, of course. It could be improved. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Number one, um, being able to place a um, window on the side of a roof. You know how in some houses there's actually like a window on the side of like a gable roof? Normally in Bloxburg we can't do something like this where we can freely place a window on the side, but the only solution for that we have right now is just by placing like a decal and putting like a fake window. That's, that's the only solution for that. So in the future I hope we are able to add windows the side of the roofs but i'm thinking they're probably going to just add in hollow versions okay we'll we'll get into the other like the other reason why they don't have that right now um a little bit later but that would be nice you know that would be really nice that's just a long time thing too I, i'm sure many of us have been wanting this for a very long time but yeah that's my number one coming at number two so in the future i definitely want the options to be able to have placeable skylight in the windows category there's like a specific you know window i think it's just called a skylight window i have no idea yeah skylights would be amazing for this game and it would add so much especially to like you know builds such as like greenhouses where the roof is technically like pretty clear the roof of greenhouses are clear like you could place a window on top of a roof they would allow more natural lighting so obviously this is examples of skylights it'd be really cool especially for like ooh, you know mall builds oh my goodness i would love you know what i'm not making a mall until they add skylights <laughs> that's oh gosh that's a commitment but yeah you know there's all sorts of different ones helps open up the space in a way to allow in natural lighting is pretty much look at that that's like a very good example that's a beautiful that's a beautiful example and they kind of allow that you know main character moment like if you live in like the attic or something with a skylight you just look you know you look through there you can like open up the window sit on the roof okay anyways that's 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 number two skylights <laughs> all right so coming at number three three moving an entire build yes yeah, so um sims 4 this is a thing i know roblox is completely different i feel like it's definitely like a roblox limitation to move full on builds but i'm hoping in the future we get what is this hold on sorry hopefully in the future we'll be able to like select an entire build okay this is a really weird comparison but you know how it's possible for a light switch to figure out what a room is you know like you put a light switch down you place a light down and by default if you you hit this light switch this the entire room's lights will like turn on and off i don't know that's a really weird comparison but it would be cool for like you know the game could figure out like oh this is an entire build you could select the entire thing and move it somewhere else if you like and maybe maybe rotate it maybe that could be a future thing like a next step i would love to be able to move my builds wherever i want because you know you do all this work for one building and then you realize oh wait it's so close to the sidewalk or maybe this build is just i don't know it's just not in a really good spot it's not not exactly how I want it, where I want it to face. Could you imagine? Like, oh, my milk carton's right here. Wait, I could just put it over there. Like, wow, amazing. That'd be game changing. And I'm sure all of us would love that, okay? All of us would love that. There has been, has to be a time where you feel like, oh man, this house I wish was a little bit closer or further away from the sidewalk. Do whatever landscaping I want, yeah. Okay, number four. This is going to go back to like number two. Hollow options for all the roofs. Okay, the only hollow roof we have is a mansard roof. And that was like years ago. I remember when this first came out and I tried to build an attic with it. But yeah, we only have a hollow mansard roof. So it would be really nice to have a hollow pyramid, hip, hollow gable. Okay, hollow gable is a really popular, I think, request too. Hollow slanted, a hollow gambrel, hollow flared mansard roof. I don't know, just a hollowed version of every roof type in this game. And let's go back to number two. I feel like we don't have the option to place windows or like skylights, I guess, because right now, like these roofs are just, they're like this, you know, they're, they're not hollow. <laughs> I think the reason why we don't have it is because they're not hollow and if you do place like a window or something on it, it would look really goofy and probably mess, I don't know, it would look really messy. So I think they're waiting to have hollow roof options before we're able to place like windows on them. So I think that's, that's the main reason. But um, I think their solution was like, okay, you can just place a decal right there and have a fake one for the meantime. Okay, so coming at number five, being able to change a decal while in build mode. So the number one reason why I don't do decals after I finish a build is because at that point I'm drained and I'm so lazy where I like, I don't want to run all the way to every single spot in the house to change the decals. And I'm sure many people can relate to that as well. Some people actually push through, fight through and change every single decal in their house. 
I give you props, big props, big respect, okay? I feel like it should just be like normal feature in build mode to like click on, you know, a decal and be able to change it and do what, whatever. That'd be great. Yeah. It would actually, <laughs> not gonna lie, I feel like I would be able to change up every single decal if I could in build mode. Cause like you're already building, you might as well be able to change your decals while you're in build mode instead of exiting and, okay, I gotta go run. I gotta go run inside. Or like, okay, you know what? Another way to fight this is to like put your decals right, like right next to you. But still, I think it would be nice to have it in build mode. Okay, number six. This is very similar to number five, okay? But being able to open and close your doors in build mode and turning on and off your lights. So there will be a time in build mode where like, oh, maybe the light is off or like the door is open and I'm actually trying to decorate a corner, but the door's in the way. Um, it'd be nice to like be able to, you know, click on the door and like, close it or something or open it if you'd like um and then this light is off so and the rest of the room is bright and i can't see too well in this room you can like click on this light and like turn it on honestly be able being able to interact with certain objects in build mode in general would be nice your tv is on and it's annoying turn it off boom in a way it's small but i feel like it would be super helpful it's a rare chance your door is already open your light is off or your tv is on and you dislike that I know, it'd be helpful. So number seven. Okay, this is something I've mentioned before, and since we're talking about build mode features, I might as well include it again. But being able to edit your roofs if they're already placed down, you know? Let's say you place down this gable roof, and you're like, okay, wait, I kind of want it to be a little bit, you know, less thick. You could click on it and be able to rescale it, you know, to adjust the thickness or like the height of it. But being able to edit edit it would also be a major game changer because then you don't have to actually end up deleting the entire roof just to place it down again. Like maybe you make the smallest mistake, but you loved how like the roof was turning out. But there's that one small mistake that you could wish you could change. Like you misplaced a point or something. I don't know. Fix it up right there on the spot without having to go through the entire roofing phase again. I just think that would be super helpful as well. I'm sure it's very painful. Like, I feel like roofing is my number one enemy in this game. So that's why I have this. I think there's there's one thing I struggle a lot in this game the most is roof. I feel like not my fault sometimes. It's just, you know, sometimes it's a Bloxburg Roblox thing. Because in Sims 4, I don't really have... Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's a skill issue. All right, so coming at number eight. Um, I feel like, I guess this is just an item, but it's also kind of a feature. But decals that can go on the floor. I would love like floor decals. That would be great. They come in diff all different like sizes and different shapes and stuff. And you could change it up however you see fit. And like, you know how we have like this square decal? Like it's pretty much transparent. I wish there was something like that that can go on the floors too. That way, if I'm making like a custom decal carpet or whatever, or like just some sort of sign that needs to go on the ground. Yeah, it's right there. We can do that. I would only do custom carpets, I think, if that item existed in build mode. Right now, the only way to do that is to like put down a basic shape, then place your decal on that, and then you'd have to like transform plus, you require another game pass, and then you'd have to like rotate it however, and then move it into the ground, yeah. All right, so number nine, this is also another thing I've mentioned in the past, and it's like a really, it's, it's a pet peeve of mine in a way. You know how there's those items that can be custom placed, like, you know, the new, I'm gonna just use this clothing line for example. You can place it normally like this, and there's also the special placement if you press t or you click that little button down there that says custom placement start from one point to another i stuck up on all these like garlands and these like wall decors for me to not be able to custom place them however i want and that's kind of a bummer because you'll have to place it the old the old way by just doing this and i wouldn't mind if it costed like more money to be able to custom place it because you know how like with certain things you can rescale it for money like this like you can still edit this present this limit present box do that but have it cost money as well all right number 10 this is a quick one i think this is like more of like a actual feature instead of like a build mode thing but you know windows that can open and close we got a taste of that with a drive through window like this one actually opens and close and also can be like low-key used as a door to be honest but but yes i think this is a highly requested thing as well for from many people from role players and builders themselves but i think they'd have to actually redo a few windows to make it. i i could understand why they don't have that right now is because like they'd have to go through the current windows and update them to where animation wise you could open and close them so that's just a lot of i think that's extra work for them who knows they could be working on that but um and the last thing on this list it's a number 11 i feel like this is just a bonus thing at this point if you guys like have seen these types of videos you already know what i'm gonna say 
being able to rotate your gable roof. So it is possible to rotate a slanted roof. I love that. I love that for slanted roof users or like people who love this. Like you can rotate it freely and change the direction of it. You can't do that with gables. The only way to like figure out how your gable roof is going to face is how you exactly like size it. If it's longer vertically, that's where like your roof is going to face like this. And if it's longer horizontally, it's going to look like this, you know? And I feel like <laughs> that would also just be a overall game changer for my traditional houses my craftsman homes and whatnot and you know what if it's possible to have the other roofs rotate as well that'd be great i don't know how they would actually look to be honest but able is very noticeable and that's it that's all that's all i complain about that a lot but yeah that is my list of um build mode features i would like add it in bloxburg um you know hopefully some of these are added before it becomes free to play so that way people who are going to be building in this game a lot you know new to building can have some like have less problems as us who are currently dealing with it who own the game and also if you have any build mode features you would want in game um leave those comments down below i may have missed out quite a bit of other build mode features like there's so many other build mode features that i don't think about so if you have any um suggestions leave those down in the comments below maybe the devs will be i mean obviously the devs are listening to the community and i'm sure most of these are probably planned already they have to figure it out and stuff so yeah okay but thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one yes bye bye